Alright people, welcome back to some more Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using Klebola. So, uh, yeah, I am totally planning on making this deck. Uh, I just think that it's going to be super good, and I picked it up while it's remotely cheap. Some cards were just like, god fucking damn it. So, I used to say that I didn't like Into the Void, but it's actually really good in Klee's just because, you know, you're going to be pitching your entire hand anyway. I think I got first turn killer, but let's go ahead and see. So, it doesn't even matter who I put on my scale. Yeah, I think I have first turn killer. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, go ahead and play those two. And, of course, activate the powerful Wavering Eyes. So, I'm going to destroy both of them. Flip 500. And, yes, I would like the effect. Go ahead. I'm trusting out Trampolinks. I personally do not know how I feel about Trampolinks right now. But, I w I'm going to have to draw a Klee Monster off of Into the Void. Yeah. To get first turn killer, I need a Klee Monster. So I'm gonna go ahead and okay, he's just gonna scoop. But yeah, I needed I needed a a clean monster off of it until it which sucks because I'm I'm set that he quit because I wanted to just at least see it. You know, I guess I can always test against the computers, but I you know if we duel, we duel. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just 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 test it against the computer and see. Hmm. Cause it doesn't look like anybody. As soon as I try this on anybody, they're just gonna quit. All right, I'll try a couple more times, but it just seems like they're gonna quit. Anyway, be right back. Anyway, Into the Woods actually a decent card because. Uh, it's sim it's essentially, it's another uh, it's another upstart that uh, you go ahead and play, uh, and then during your end phase, you shouldn't have any cards left in your hand anyway during the end phase. So, uh, mm. sounds okay, I guess. Once again, I'm not sure how I feel about fucking trampling. It seems uh, I'm, I'm 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 split between trampling. Trampling seems like a decent card because when you pendulum summon, you can go ahead and return it to your hand and search and get an additional search off with scout, which means that of course you'll get an additional uh, card to go ahead and pull off your killer play on. Because I think I got killer right now. Because if I go ahead and uh, no, wait, I don't. Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, activate this. Search for it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna put trampling. I'm gonna put scout. Wait, I don't even need the additional search. Yeah, I don't even need the additional search, but I'll essentially show you what I'm thinking about doing. So I'll activate the, these two. Then we can go ahead and pendulum some new state, but it doesn't matter because I can already activate and search for killer right now. So I already got it. So that's it. First turn killer. And I said, pull this shit off and it's over. Like I said, that's how powerful this shit is. But uh, essentially the idea is to go ahead and uh, get an additional search. So go ahead and summon, summon, summon. Which, uh, the, thing, the thing that sucks about Trampolings it, over uh, Monoliths is I won't be drawing my additional cards, which sucks. But uh, we can go ahead and activate that. And then, of course, it'll give you access to the extra deck because you're returning your scout. And then Trampolings is the other one, so you'll still get to go ahead and uh, draw. It sucks that you can't just put a scale on top of a different scale, like just get rid of the scale. It really just sucks that you can't do that. But... Seems like everything's gonna be okay because this time I don't even have to freaking kill one of them. I can go ahead and just equip two, it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna go ahead and trigger it anyway. Uh, sled, if you wanna continue. No, that's good. Killer. So, I didn't need trample links at all. Definitely seemed like I didn't need it at all. So, I'm still questioning whether I need it or not. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab me another scout in case shit hits the fan. Because once I get killer, I mean the duel's already over, unless you have to look out to killer. Which, if you do, I'll let you see, but go ahead and pitch your monster out of your hand to start off with first turn killer. Uh, Into the Void, like I said, is good because uh, I'm pretty much gonna use my entire hand to pendulum, tribute, whatever, and set whatever the remaining cards is. Then I get to choose the order that I want to do it. So I can go, alright, Into the Void. Pitch my hand, I have nothing. Monolith, draw three cards. So, it's essentially, it's another upstart, at least until, you know, Chicken Race comes out. So, uh, so it's good, it's good that I can go ahead and do that. The only problem is that the card's super fucking expensive. Like, I'd say, it's, 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 uh, it's Ultra slash Ultimate in Shining Darkness. Never got a reprint. And it's already getting popularity, not only in Klee decks, but also it's a pretty key component in, uh, in Chicken Race as well, uh, Into the Void. So... <laughs> the problem with that card is uh, no reprint, ultra ultimate. It's expensive. I think it's at least twenty five dollars per card, and 
course, when you place that seventy-five fucking dollars, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I don't know what you're gonna do. You have like no way of getting out of this. <laughs> like fucking killer has just locked you down. You can go ahead and see if you want to. You know, get to go ahead and draw a card, pop a card, draw a card. So you know, I'm not saying your Star Slayer engine's bad. It's just I don't think there's any Star Slayer in Star Slayer monster that can get you out of this situation of you facing down killer. You know, I'm just happy you didn't quit immediately. And so I'm just testing out trampolines. And like I said, I didn't need trampolines right there. I didn't. I didn't need Trampolix's help at all. And it seems like Trampolix is going to get in my way just because it's a non-clean monster. So if I draw, you know, multiple Trampolix, because I'm testing out Trampolix. You know, I'm running it at three. I'm testing it out because I I, there's multiple Turbo Clean decks. Multiple. You know, some run a couple back rows. Some don't. Some run Trampolix. Some don't. You know, uh, some run uh, Cephalopod. Right now, I'm not running Cephalopod. I just don't see the worth of it, you know, because I still want to actually do some plays outside of... Uh, uh, killer, if I, if I have to, and just don't see my cephalopods bring anything new to table side. It's another clean monster to summon. So, uh, I don't know. While trampling it seems like he's in the way, because it seems like if I draw multiple cephalopods, I mean, not cephalopods, multiple trampolinks, trampling doesn't do anything. It's not like I can, you know, tribute. It re this requires three cleaves, you know. It's not like I can even, you know, and I can't special summon the trampling to a pendulum summon. You know. Wow, I fucked myself because I actually left a monolith on the field. That's actually funny. Yeah, so he's gonna gain my fucking attack and run over my killer. That's hilarious. I think that's funny. I'm killer's not affected. You should have targeted my monolith, then gained, you know, what the Actually that wouldn't have been enough. Cause you'd only gain what, nineteen fifty nine nine fifty? Nine fifty? No, that wouldn't have been enough to run over killer. Nope. Whew. Well, I didn't fuck up there. Like I said, I need practice with this deck. I'm making it, but I need practice with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another duel in and test this shit out more. Bear back. Alright, let's try this again and learn from my mistake. So, the mistake number one, don't give them any other monster on the field so they can go ahead and do that play. Ew, I did not open up well at all. No wavering eyes, no nothing. I guess I'll go ahead and take the duel slow. You know. If I had wavering eyes, this hand would be fine, but I got like nothing. Um, seems like he's testing for ARG. I guess he's playing Telenites or Cleaves, because stuff definitely seems like two decks. They're just going to be like this. You know. Like I said, I mean, you know, Death Pro and Wide Jumper can easily go ahead and add, you know, uh, their format, but it just seems like it's going to be pretty difficult to, I don't know, I'm not going to, I'm not planning on going to any ARG tournaments anytime soon. Nah, let me just go ahead and have a Graph Fizzle. Like I said, I got to take the duel slow, so we're going to go ahead and vanity it up. And take those super slow. Set some backer. Set Burning Abyss on the ARG list. So one Sir, two Dante. I want to see this. I'm not saying Burning Abyss are dead, but you're not looking too hot. And you set a monster? Like, hmm. Oh, well, that's, where's that Wavering Eyes? But I'm not planning on playing it right now. So you're a helix, so you destroy a spell or trap. I guess I can summon another helix and then just end my turn. Not like you can summon a burning abyss monster. Well, I guess you can flip, but he can't special summon, so yeah. So let's go ahead and normal summon without tribute. Can't summon any burning abyss monsters. Like I say, you got some piece of background? No, I'll take it slow. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry at all. It's not like you can go, alright, summon a burning abyss monster, I mean, I guess. Oh, Phoenix, alright. So I guess you're gonna put the vanities on top of my deck? No, you're gonna go ahead and put Helix on top of my deck. Okay, that's fine. You're just making me a turn slower, but you're really just slowing yourself down. I would've put the vanities on top of my deck, then I've been able to special summon, at least go into a Dante. If that's a burning abyss monster, flip summon it, summon another burning abyss, go into a Dante at least. See, what was the point of that? You like negged. You didn't even pitch a, a burning abyss that you could even, you know, get pluses off or get resources off. Like, I don't even know why you did that play. I said I could do the whole way around I play, but I just feel like locking you down with vanities for right now. Doesn't seem like I really gotta do much of anything. Next turn I'm gonna go ahead and tribute these two for fucking stealth. Spin something back. Fuck you up. Now, I'm assuming this is a Skarm. You don't seem very panicked. Alright. Gonna go ahead and toss the Regeki at me. No, you top back, that's fine. That's it. It's not like I can't, you know, still do my plays. That's it. You're just 
slowing down the inevitable. That's I can go ahead and start my plays. Yeah, I can kill him right now, actually. Mmm. Mmm, kinda no. No. Play those two. Wait a minute, I destroy them too. Search for scout. Scout paid for 500. Serve so monolith. I'd have to waver and ice twice. Yeah, I would have to waver and ice twice. Nah, fuck it. So you got that MST? Yeah, the MST. It seems like you would MST my vanity's emptiness, though. If you vanity's my freaking stealth, it doesn't do anything, so. No, no. Shut up. Wait, very nice. I play you, then my opponent be like, What? You set two scale ones? That's dumb. You can't even pendulum summon anymore. You can't even do anything. It's so dumb. And I'm just gonna be like, Alright. Wait, very nice. That's it. I feel comfortable going ahead and breaking out of my vanity's emptiness now. Ooh, the Gecky break. So I guess you're gonna go ahead and destroy one of my scales so Chen resolves backwards. That sucks. I can always change the other, the second labor eyes. Then go ahead and select your target. Which I'll definitely do. Definitely go ahead and you're running out of resources. So go ahead and select your target, which will probably should probably be one of my scales. So chain results backwards, so you destroy one of my scales, which means I only get I won't get my search effect. I said the vanities is gonna go because of wavering eyes, so you shouldn't even have to worry about the vanities. Seems like you should want to vanity handle those vanities a long time ago. Wow, you're actually going after the vanities. It's gonna go anyway. Wow, you're so bad. You're so bad. You should have popped one of my scales. Yes. Wow, my opponent here is fucking super terrible. Then give me scout. Super terrible. Just terrible. 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 Scout. I said, scout should probably get hit down to one. Just because I can still do multiple wavering eye plays, which is bad. You know? I shouldn't be able to do that. Uh. Hmm. I want to get one of the two cards right now. The problem is I can't pendulum. I can pendulum some this turn. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and grab a moment. All right, you're just gonna scoop anyway. I'll say you misplayed. Like I said I had another wave right, so I could have got out of the way anyway. But yeah, you misplayed. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Still testing. We're back. All right, back. So generally, you want to go first with this deck, just because. You can pull off the plate uninterrupted, because of course your opponent's going to set some back row if you run to the back row. It sucks, but, uh, alright, I'll start again, that's fine. Let's see if it's a mirror match. Oh, nope. I'm going to say, let's see if it's a mirror match. A synchro deck. Definitely a synchro deck. Which generally doesn't run much back row. Ooh, dark world dealings. I don't need the trampolines. Yeah, I'd rather keep everybody but the trampolines. Hmm. Because I'm going to play you, play you. I can play you, pay you, pendulum summon you, you will search you, search, summon you, equip you. No, I guess I'll just the upstart. Like I said, I want to test out trampling, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's so say you know you're negging every single time you do that. Hmm. I don't know to pitch now. Fuck it, I'll pitch lose one turn. Cause I want to see this play. Wow, and he's not going to summon at all. All right, so, all right, let's see this play. I got first turn killer, definitely, definitely. You did nothing. Wow. Yep, I got killer right now. I don't even need trampolines. Once again, well, that's because you're backward dealings. But yeah, I don't even need your. I don't even need your goddamn trampolines. Yep, scoop. Cause just search for killer, put you pendulum summon you three tribute killer. So, thanks for dark world dealings. Well, I'll be playing that now, cause that's a neg. I, I can't take any negs. Yeah, I have to zero out. I gotta have upstarts. I gotta have into the void, which is a, a, a zero out intentionally. And then you know during the end phase, you're gonna be pitching your hand, but I probably won't have a hand. Then I'll just be like, all right, into the void. I have no hand. Monolith effect. Draw three. So oh, I gotta get another duel. Like I said, I knew people were just gonna quit. I just want to. I just want to test the deck. So if one more person quits, then I'm probably just gonna duel against the computer for the rest of the main time of the video. So bear back. All right. 
So, so far it doesn't look like I need trample links like at all. Definitely doesn't even look like I need them. So, probably take them out. I could probably run, possibly run another Klee monster. Yeah. Yeah. Especially since I'm kind of hurting myself by running cards like this. But hey, I'd rather have them than not have them, because like I said, if shit hits the fan and I can't pull off that first turn kill, I'd rather have the cards like Vanities and Losing Tarn. And it's not like they hurt when I have them on the field, you know? If I kill her you, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and Diamond Crab King and get out of this situation, I'm just like, okay, you know, Vanities, lose one turn. Fuck you off. Go ahead, scoop it up, go to game two. I do not have first turn killer. If I had one more Klee card, I'd have first turn killer. So, because I drew both of these, it's not looking too hot. But I, can, I have second turn killer. You know, let's see if he has MST though. So, scout, knock up 100. Doesn't look like he has MST. So, I'll go ahead and get a sack of rice. Go ahead and number summon disc. Equip with sack of rice. Set to lose one turn, set the vanities, and end my turn. I guess I can attack over you. Yeah, I, sh I should actually I should attack over you. If I get mirror force, then fuck it. It's another card for me, but I should risk it. So this is one instance where I don't get first turn killer because I'm running cards like emptiness and lose one turn. So I guess that's my fault. And so it's not like lose one turn phases me. It just phases my pendulums, but, you know, I'm totally going to just tribute for killer anyway. This one turn? Yeah. I'm turning defense mode. Ooh, wiretap. Okay. Okay, I see you. It's hard to understand. You can spell some more on your hand or whatever. I'm going to have to turn off the vanities now. I'm going to lock you down because I'm in control of this duel. Another wire tap. Wow. All right. At least I don't have to worry about any more of your back row. Wow. Another one. All right. So now what are you going to do? Double wire tap, people. Blade Armor Ninja. Okay, I guess, but I can't be destroyed sure that one. The Sacrifice is such a good fucking eclipse spell, so, I don't know. Hmm, I'll take that. Take that again. I said, I don't know where you're going with this. I have no idea where you're going with that. Alright. Actually, I should have I should have searched first. My bad. I misplayed again. I'm only running one killer just because it seems like I only need one killer. Some people are running two, but two just seems so fucking cloggy. Like it does. Like if you draw two killers, your hand's already terrible. Like that's how bad it is. So if I open up with a killer, that's one less card I have to search. But if I open up with two killers, then that's just terrible, and I don't want that hand ever. So <clears throat> anyway, pendulum summon. And go ahead and tribute. Killer. Yes, I would like sacrifice. No, I don't want to play Wavering Eyes right now. Uh, go ahead and search me, Felix. Because at this point, the only thing I, I can be threatened by really nothing, but. And I'll go ahead and kill your assault and then make you send the blade armor. And then I'll draw two cards during the end phase because why the fuck not? Like I said, the loose one turn slowed me down a little bit. Like I said, if I would have had one more Klee monster. Go ahead and send your blade armor. And then... That's it. Should I set this? No. I guess I'll send it. Because if he draws MST, I can always train it. Then, of course, draw two. I get into the void. Like I said, I can just go ahead and pen to them, summon them out of my hand, and then play into the void and, you know, tribute them in draws. During the end phase, so it's not even like into the void, it's even an egg for me. 
I ran another killer, I could drop another killer, but I don't even need to drop another killer. I think I could just wrap, wrap this duel up, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and thunder this on the mute, too. In my hand. I'm just playing around now. Like I said, this duel is over. I won, but I'm just having fun with it. I'm just doing plays. Just doing shenanigans. Oh, I can't even play this card unless I have more than three cards. Oops, my bad. Messed up again. Alright, definitely need more practice with this deck, but it's cool. So I win anyway, so. Then Helix is the one that pops. You know what? I keep on forgetting. I think Helix is the one that pops the back right, right? Yeah. Carrier is the one that bounces. It's usually I can't look at my extra deck when I'm using effect, but I could just look at the deck sitting in front of me right now, so. I'll put that back in your hand. And. Tap, 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 again. Yeah. So we'll get one more duel in. I still haven't tested Tremplings, but so far I'm not liking it. I've, it doesn't like I'm already drawing dead cards because of uh because of uh my trap cards that I'm playing. You know, like lose one turn and shit like that. that just drawing Tremplings is another card where I'm just like, wow, if it was a clean monster, so I'm not gonna run Tremplings. So there we go. I'm done testing that, but we'll go ahead and get one more duel in. So be right back. All right. So I took out Tremplings. Uh, I put in Seth just because. Like I said, it seems like I need more clean monsters to pull off the first turn killer more often, more consistently. So, we'll go ahead and try him out, even though I don't like him as a standalone monster, just because it doesn't seem like he really does anything. His hand's pretty bad, but at least I got, you know. And if, well, if I could pendulum summon, this hand would be fine, but. Hmm. Okay, sometimes I open up really well, and sometimes I don't. Like, you need to open up with that scout. And it seems like, you know, one, two scouts, three summoners are, you know, three. You know, wavering eyes. It seems like I would get scout way more often, but I don't get it. Then I'm just taking this duel extremely slow. At least I got the vanities, so I can at least attempt to slow him down at my pace unless he has MST. That's fine. Uh huh. That's not anything. When you play out Polly, I'll go ahead and play the vanities just so, unless you have MST, your Polly will fizzle. Of course, Vanities and Cleese is super busted just because, you know, my, my monsters, uh, they go to the extra deck, so Vanity stays. Like I said, I, I run one killer, and like I said, it's bad to draw killer. You'd rather search them, but with the number generators, no surprise that I'm going to go ahead and draw them. So. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I, I, I don't really have a threat right now. So, with Vanity's up, I'm just going to take Bill Slow. And if shit hits the fan and he ends up, you know, getting rid of my Helix and stuff like that, then I'll go ahead and play Wave Nice. But for right now, I'm in control of the duel. Like I said, see? Because the way I play it, I don't have to play. I don't have to turbo on the killer. If I, get off, if I get off the towers, awesome, great. But if I'm in control of the duel, then everything is fine. See? You neg with Compulse. It's not like Compulse even did anything. And I can just go ahead and summon the monster again. So you did nothing. All you did was just neg with yourself with Compulse. Just to save your damn owl. Like, I guess. I guess. Anyway, like I said, I'm not sure if I want to run self apply. And I'm thinking about maybe cutting uh, Into the Void down to two. Just because if I don't have three or more cards in my hand, I can't even play it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and summon your mouse, which is fine. It's not like mouse can even do anything, because you can't special summon. This is one turn, which is totally fine. I'll take it. Like I said, I'm in control of this duel, so. Nope. No summon without tribute, because I'm applying the pressure right now. So. Yeah. I'm the one in control. I'm applying the pressure, so if I don't even need to summon killer, then I can take the duel slow, or I can drop killer on your ass, but I said it's a nice combination of both of them that will make this deck really top tier. I just need to see the ban list. I want to know where you're putting lose one turn at and where you're putting and well, how are you going to hit Cleese. You know, if you don't hit Cleese at all, then, you know, let's go. But, you know, I'm totally prepared for you to go ahead and hit the deck. So, right now, I'm just applying pressure. That's fine. You can summon your Trauma Hawk. I don't care. You can go ahead and crash, but I'm just going to go to the extra deck, so it doesn't do anything anyway. So. But, you know, normally you can go ahead and if you can crash and get rid of the vanities, that's great. But right now, <gasps> you're not doing anything. I 
I still don't know what you're going to do. Like I said, unless you have some way of getting rid of the Xanadies, you lose. So, I guess maybe that's the reason why I freaking, uh, 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 ARG wanted to ban it. <laughs> this nigga's trying to ban me. <laughs> Alright, if I want to, I can go ahead and tribute, but like I said, ah, uh, I might have to. Because I can't get away with this thing without crashing, so. I can go ahead and tribute these two. Pop, pop, bounce. You know, this will stay. And then I'll have a 28 beater. Applying more pressure. I don't even need to bounce, actually. I'd rather go for shell. Yeah, I'd rather go for shell. I attack twice and pierce. Bounce something, pierce something. Yeah. Double some regularly. I go the extra deck. Some you. Then, uh, Helix, sure. Carrier, sure. Helix, go ahead and try that. Carrier, go ahead and bounce that. So, I have to shave off some life points because I get to attack you twice at 28. That's, that hurt. that's 56. That's like, ouch. Oh, you got the breakthrough skill. Alright, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'll take that. So, I'm only going to smack you once. <clears throat> like I said, I'm still in control of the duel. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm worried about, you know, not pulling off killer per perfectly every time, all the time. Because I'm still in control of the duel. So, question is, what are they going to do with this stack on the ban list? Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't hit it at all. You know, maybe lose one turn just because of another floodgate. Maybe lose one turn to one. That'd be, I'd be fine with that. I said, my deck is turbo, so, you know. If I don't draw into it, then that's fine. I'm going to kill you. But if I do draw into it, then that's fine. I got my, you know, I got my, uh... Uh, my floodgate, so either way, you know, you're still sitting not pretty. Which is exactly how I want to play. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan style. That's fine. Once I'm playing, uh, yep, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm applying too much pressure. I don't even need to summon killer on your ass. I just apply too much pressure, so. Like I said, I still need to work on the deck. I'm, no, I'm still wondering if I should run Anthropod just because it's another clean monster to summon. Because right now I'm running all three, three of all the clean monsters except for him. Uh, sub Anthropod? I'm saying Anthropod, Cephalopod. Because I just don't like it as a standalone card. But if it's another card that I can go ahead and tribute for killer without having to, to search, then it might be handy to go ahead and play it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I was looking at a couple of deck profiles. One person ran, uh, Two into the void just because you can't run it, you can't play it when you have three or more cards. And like I said, when you're taking a duel slow, like sometimes I am, it's not the best card to go ahead and play. So, yeah, so I can see that. Uh, some people were playing, uh, 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 I got what's the name of that card? One Day of Peace, because it's another upstart. But I'm not a big fan of that just because, you know, your opponent draws a card. So, even if I kill them, that gives them seven cards to combat killer instead of the normal six. So, I'm not a big fan of that card either, so I'm not sure if I'll run that. Uh, so I might cut into the void maybe down to two, maybe run three cephalopods. Like I said, maybe you just run three of all the clean cards, because that's what it seems like. It seems like, right? Testing out this, it seems like, you know, the less ca cards that I had to search, the less cards that I had to search for towers, which means I don't have to, I can search for the towers, the better, you know? If, if my scout searches towers and I already have the three pendulum monsters to go ahead and pendulum summon and trigger for killers, then I already got it. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call in an episode, so clearly. Super busted. Then lose a single bull. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I'm totally prepared. I, I've got the majority of the deck right now. I got the towers. Um, got my two scouts. My triple monolith. Super expensive. They're like 20 bucks each, but monolith is like one of the best cards in here. Like I said, if you're running all three, if, if you're running all three of Clays because you're turboing, that's fine. But if you're debating on which cards you want to run at three, definitely monolith because not only will it's a less card you have to search for with scouts. Go ahead and put in your pendulum, but you know it's a nice card in general. So. Uh, Triple Carrier, got that. Triple Helix, got that. Triple Disc, super expensive, but need a triple with him too. Got to triple him. Got Triple Shell. Like I said, I don't have any Cephalopods, so I'm still debating on him, but, you know, it seems like at this point, like, it might be best just to go ahead and get him, just because it's just one less card in search, but it seems like I'm just like, yeah, you know, I got two monsters, I wish I had a third one, you know, and, you know, it didn't seem like, uh, um, Trampolinks not going down that route, because, it seems like it's just another cl less clue card to draw and clog yourself, so no thank you. I got the Sacrifice, I got the three Summoner's Art, I got the three Upstart Goblins, uh, I got the Skill Drain, I got the Emptiness, I got the three Lose One Turns, so... 
Oh, and I'm still debating on Luzor turn. Like I said, if Luzor turn gets hit, then hey, that's fine. But like I said, if it doesn't get hit, then I still got my three Luzor turns, and you know how stupid that card is. Um, the Stealths, the Wavering Eyes, and the Into the Voids are coming in the mail, and yeah. But there we go. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Barely Duel. So I apologize if you guys feel like I was being sacky, but like I said, it's dirty damn time. I wanted to test this deck out. I want to make this deck. I want to get it good and nice and juicy just so I can go to tournaments and win. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Another Tag Day, another Tag Thursday using UAs. And joined by, you will find out. All right, people. Thanks for watching.